Kansa Massage focuses on boosting circulation, plumping the skin, debuffing the face by reducing inflammation, making it more firm, and long-term consistent use can also diminish fine lines and wrinkles. Kans or Kansa is an alloy made of 78% copper, 22% tin or aluminum, and some traces of zinc. Copper helps in reducing the inflammation, zinc helps in building the immunity, and tin helps in reducing stress and anxiety, leading to better sleep. Ayurveda emphasizes on Abhyanga, a form of self-massage which is often considered self-love. Always start with clean skin. Try avoiding having any makeup or even traces of makeup because you do not want that makeup to go into your pores. Let's start by massaging the center of the forehead, also known as third eye chakra or sthapani marma. We'll start in circular motions. If you start with clockwise motion, then you can also go in anti-clock motion to balance it. Massage all over your forehead in a circular motion, and then a zigzag motion with up and down movement. When you reach the temples, make small circular motions again in both the directions. And now, let's start with the inner corners of our nose. This will also help us in opening up the sinuses and clearing up our airways to breathe easy. The nose is the entranceway of prana. Life starts when we start breathing, and therefore it's very extremely important for us to take care of our sinuses. Try to move in an upward direction, still going in a circular motion. That will help you create a sharp cheekbone line that we all like. We can then move on to the jawline, also moving in the upward direction, along with the small circular motion. So we are moving up and in a circular motion at the same time. The goal is to depuff and promote the lymphatic drainage. And for that, it is somewhat important to know in which directions the fluids are moving. Don't forget the back of your neck, as it can help you distress. Then you can also start by going up and down on your neck and you go with gentle pressure, focusing more in the downward direction. You don't need too much of a training to use a Kansa wand. Just be mindful of the pressure you apply on your face. What happens when you see some grayness on your face? Don't worry, it's very natural. All it's doing is removing some acidity from your face and really pushing those toxins out. It will not always happen and it will not happen to everyone either. But don't get scared if it does. According to Ayurveda, someone with Pitta Dosha or Pitta imbalance is more likely to experience that. Sometimes it's often the food we eat and the environment as well. Now let's review some of the oils I use and these range anywhere from $2 to almost $150. It was a tough decision but I did narrow it down to 4 Starting with this one, this is a jojoba oil. It's a natural source of vitamin E. Jojoba plant does not need a lot of water. It can thrive in deserted climate. The nut itself has a lot of healing properties. It's a carrier oil and can be used on its own or mixed with some essential oils. One drop of lavender can also give you some extra relaxation while doing this massage. Jojoba oil is a big part of my skincare routine. It's also less likely to build up on your skin and clog your pores because it's considered non-comedogenic. Now moving on to the next oil which can be found at the Dollar Tree store. Yes, I'm not kidding. It's called Guru Nanda's Natural Bright Skin Serum. I have tried and tested this product for a few weeks now and it's a combination of natural oils starting with jojoba oil. We already discussed all the wonderful benefits of that oil. The next ingredient is rosehip. If you are someone who has dehydrated skin, which is not necessarily the same as dry skin, rosehip can be your best friend. It is very rich in fatty acids. Rosehip also helps in brightening and collagen formation. And for some, it has also helped with pigmentation. The next ingredient is carrot seed. It removes dead skin cells and cleanses pores, reducing dryness, leaving the complexion looking beautiful, smooth, radiant, and clean. The next ingredient is sandalwood. Now, this oil does not smell like sandalwood, but sandalwood does have the ability to improve the elasticity of skin cells 
and there are some studies that it can help in reducing scars as well. And don't worry about the coconut oil clogging any pores, it seems to be in a very small quantity. Now let's be real, it has pretty good ingredients to be sold at a Dollar Tree store. But the quantity is only 8 milliliters, so you will have to buy multiple of these for you to last a whole month. Next oil is by Rano Beauty called Lotus Revitalizing Youth Oil. Now the key ingredients in this oil are, of course, the Blue Lotus Oil, Mokate Oil, and Guaza Zeal Oil. It's actually pronounced Guayye Zulane. Well, starting with the Blue Lotus Oil, if you have dry, flaky skin, this is your natural moisturizer. The next key ingredient is rose oil. It does not only smell good, but for someone who has a lot of redness, rose oil has super cooling benefits. So if you have inflammation, blemishes, redness, rashes, this ingredient is going to be very helpful. Next key ingredient is Guayi Zulane oil. I had to do some homework on this one, but apparently Guayi Zulane is a dark blue crystalline hydrocarbon and derivative of Azulane, the blue colored constituent of chamomile oil. And I think the overall effect of using the serum is to keep your skin cool and calm and save yourself from redness and blemishes. And I've used it for quite some time and I approve it. And if you have the budget, I would highly recommend this next oil. Now, as you can see, it is empty. This is my third bottle. Full transparency, I once sent the first bottle, but I have bought two since then. This brightening saffron serum has the base of sesame oil, which in Ayurveda is considered a boon. Now, one of the key ingredients in the serum is saffron. Saffron is one of the most expensive herbs in the world, but it does not only have benefits by internal consuming, but also is a boon for your skin. From inflammation to brightening to healing your scars, it helps with all of those and more. And one of the things I love about the Ranavat products is that their natural fragrance. They do not add any perfumes to their cosmetics, but they do have this natural, amazing aroma of essential oils in all their products that has this amazing calming effect. Now, before you apply any of these oils on your face, I would always recommend to do a patch test for allergies. I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to leave all the links below if you would like to purchase anything. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and there's going to be a lot more videos coming soon.